Over the past year, I've been building on Cloudflare pretty extensively. My projects range from small personal indie builds to full-fledged SaaS applications for businesses doing serious revenue. The more that I have built on top of Cloudflare, the more bullish on the platform I have become. Cloudflare's compute offerings occupy a really nice middle ground where they're not overwhelming like other cloud providers, but they're still incredibly comprehensive. And quite honestly, it's really hard to beat the price of the worker runtime. So after posting a handful of videos about Cloudflare, I realize there's a lot of people that want to build on top of the platform, but they need a little more guidance and context than what the docs offer. And many of these people reached out directly to me asking if I'd create a course. So after a lot of thought, several months of planning, and a few weeks of recording, I'm excited to finally share what I've been working on, a comprehensive course on building full stack services on Cloudflare. When I designed this course, I set three core goals. One, keep the content framework agnostic. Two, make sure the course project solves a real world problem, not just another basic CRUD app. And three, by the end of the course, participants should feel genuinely confident building on top of Cloudflare's compute platform. So with that said, let's take a look at what we're going to build. Imagine that you are approached by a direct-to-consumer company that sells products globally. This company lists their products on Amazon for consumers in the US, but also sells the same product on dozens of other platforms around the world. This makes working with influencers very challenging, as they have to link out to several e-commerce platforms whenever they promote a product. This company also notices they are losing revenue, because oftentimes a product video will pop off a year after being posted. When this happens, many of the product links lead to a dead page where the product is no longer available. This brings us to our course project, where we're going to build a SaaS solution to solve the problems this D2C company is facing. In this course, you're going to be provided with a simple UI for a product called Smart Links. You'll build out an experience that allows users to create smart links for a product with a default destination. Users can additionally add destinations based on the country of the person clicking the link. You'll build out a HONA redirect service that is deployed to a worker that looks at the destinations for a given link. Cloudflare KV will be used to cache the results to speed up this operation the next time the link is clicked. After redirecting the user to the correct destination, in the background of the worker request, some metadata will be passed to a durable object. This durable object manages WebSocket connections that power a real-time dashboard, which show exactly where users are clicking. After passing info to the durable object, metadata will also be sent to a Cloudflare queue. Data from the Cloudflare queue will be processed by a data service that you build. The data service will store link clicks for analytic purposes, and it will also trigger Cloudflare workflows that have a series of steps to evaluate the health of a link destination. This workflow will use Cloudflare's browser rendering product to virtually render the destination URL. It will then use Cloudflare's AI inference solution to analyze the info on a page to determine if the destination URL is healthy or not. The last step of this workflow will save the output of the browser rendering along with a screenshot of the rendered page into R2 so you can track the quality of the AI results. Now obviously you're not going to want to run this workflow every single time a link is clicked. So you'll be building out a durable object to buffer link clicks with the same destination and come up with a intelligent scheduling solution to determine when a workflow should be triggered. All the data emitted from the data service will flow into a D1 database, which is accessible by the dashboard UI. Now, this wouldn't be a proper SaaS service if we don't build out auth and payments. So we'll go through the process of integrating an auth provider like Google with better auth, and we'll build out subscriptions with Stripe. We'll also be configuring custom domains for the service. We'll create a stage and production environment of the service, and we'll roll out automated deployments triggered by pushing code to GitHub. So by the end of this course, you will have built on and deployed to all of Cloudflare's core compute offerings. But most importantly, you'll become comfortable enough to use any other Cloudflare resource with relative ease. So at this point, you might be wondering, is this course right for me? The prerequisites for this course are a basic understanding of TypeScript, a GitHub account, a Cloudflare account, which you can start with a free Cloudflare account, but once we start building things with queues, you'll have to upgrade to the $5 worker tier. You should also understand that this is not a line-by-line -line coding tutorial course. This is a chunk-by-chunk -chunk course, meaning we'll oftentimes copy chunks of pre-written code into our code base and go over the concepts and functionality. The chunk-by-chunk -chunk approach will make it much less likely for you to get stuck due to typos, and it will also allow us to cover way, way more content throughout the duration of the course. And lastly, you should understand that this course is meant to be framework agnostic. The user application is mostly pre-built using React, Tanstack Router, and Tanstack Query. This project is also set up with TRPC for type-safe client-server interactions. I believe at this day and age, you can pick your favorite framework and use agentic coding to build out most of the UI experience, which is why I don't want to dive too deep on the client side of things. The real value of this course is how to build a modular system on top of Cloudflare. So our core focus is going to be the data service. There are also modules that cover concepts about the worker runtime and bundling applications. So by the end of this course, you should feel confident that you can bring your next application, Svelte Kit, Tanstack Start, or whatever framework you enjoy working on to Cloudflare workers. But most importantly, you'll have the exposure on how to build the end-to-end system that goes beyond your full stack framework. So if this sounds interesting to you, I'd encourage you to purchase this course. I put a lot of thought and time into it, and I really do think it's worth your time.